are guides, we are kings. We march in faith, cause we believe we can. Change the world to what it needs. Stand against our enemies, cause we can. Yeah. We are kings, demanding change Cause we believe we can
uh, mistresses, baby moms, uh, brothers have a woman and they got multiple women, right? That's not odd in our community. Our, our children today, uh, most of them are not being raised up to aspire to be married. Young girls are not taught, save yourself. You, When you have your one husband, that's something that you do with your husband. Uh, and and her, uh, men, uh, young men are not taught, listen, don't be running around in these streets trying to sleep with this girl, sleep with that girl. Work, get your education, get your, uh, establish yourself so that way by the time you're ready for a wife, that you get your wife and you bring her to live with you. You know why? Because this is not taught to our people. It's not taught right. The churches are not teaching us that. Bring it out. The church, the churches are teaching, you know what the churches are teaching? Come as you are and stay as you are. And make sure before you leave, you put that 10% in that up. plate. Uh-huh. Listen to this. Keep reading that. Finish that. Finish that. Verse 6. Wherefore there are no more twain, but one flesh. He said there are one flesh. So that's what Jesus Christ said. He said, when God created man and woman, he intended for a man to have one wife. Marie, what therefore God had joined together, let not man put asunder. Uh, uh, now, now, um, the heart the heart. He said unto them, Moses, because of the hardness of your heart. So now they ask and they say, wait a minute. Because when you read in the books of Moses, Moses said it was okay for us to get a bill of divorce, which he did. But now Jesus Christ is, is uh, saying why Moses said it was okay. Read. Because of the hardness of your heart suffered you to put away your wives. So it says Moses because of the hardness of your heart. Meaning what? You made your mind up already. You already made your mind up. Now let's look at, look at men today, right? If I, uh, a man gets married to a woman, they're like in their 20s, right? When they're, by the time they're in their 50s, it doesn't that man now want, uh, somehow want a new woman? Why? Is it because hey, she did anything wrong? No, it's just because, well, I've been with this woman for so long, now I want another young woman. And then now when she reaches in her 50s, you're going to want another young woman. So that's what Moses is saying. He said, it's because of the hardness of your heart. You made your mind up already. Read. But from the beginning, it, Jesus Christ said, but from the beginning, it was not so. It was not so. That's not the way that God wanted it. Right. Read. And I say unto you, whosoever shall put away his wife. So anybody who divorces his wife or puts away his wife. Except it be for fornication. Except it be for fornication. Meaning adultery. Meaning adultery. If your wife cheats on you, you can divorce your wife. Read. And shall marry another. And you go and marry another woman. Read. Committed adultery. That's adultery. That is adultery. You cannot just jump from person to person to person. That's not the way God intended. That's adultery. A man and a woman. One man, one woman. That's it. Now, um, give me Hebrews 13. Because that's what we're talking about. We're talking about marriage. And we have to establish that in the community today, these young people, you young people need to know that marriage, God has ordained marriage, not man. Read that. Hebrews chapter 13 and verse 4. Uh -huh. Marriage is honorable in all. So God says marriage is honorable. Read. And the bed undefiled. And the marriage bed is undefiled. You, what you do in your bedroom with your wife, that's your business. Just don't bring anybody else in there. Read. But whoremongers. But what? Whoremongers. Whoremongers. You know what a whoremonger is? A whoremonger is a male version of a whore. It's these so-called players. Bring it up. So-called players, so-called jealous today. We want to give it different names today. That's what God calls it, called being a whoremonger. It's a male whore. Jumping around from woman to woman to woman. That's being a whoremonger. The same way that a woman jump around from man to man to man, we'd say that's a whore. So a whoremonger is a male version. But what does God say about that? We just all thought. But whoremonger is that adult What do you say? We just thought. God, God called that being a whoremonger. Listen to what God said being a listen to what God said about being a thought. But whoremongers and adulterers, God will judge. What is God gonna do to whoremongers and adulterers? God will judge. You heard that, sis? What did God what did it say God would do to whoremongers and adulterers? God will judge. God will do what? You heard you heard what God what uh, the Bible said? No problem. Read it again. But whoremongers and adulterers, God will judge. What's going to happen to whoremongers and adulterers? Read it, read it one more time. Read it from the top. But whoremongers, and marriage is honorable in all, and the bed undefiled.
child. But whoremongers and adulterers, God will judge. So what's going to happen? We'll judge. Who kind of, what do you think the judgment is going to be? For the, for the man or for the woman who's a whoremonger and adulterer, what's the judgment that's going to happen for them? The judgment is death, sickness, syphilis, AIDS, gonorrhea. That's judgment. That's, these are different forms of judgment. It said the whoremongers and adulterers, God will judge. What are you, what are you reading? Quote where you read that? Hebrews chapter 13 and verse 4. And guess what? That's the New Testament. That's not the Old Testament. This is the New Testament. It says whoremongers and adulterers, God will judge. This is something that they need to be teaching in the churches. Marriage is honorable. God ordained marriage. And he said he would uh, He would judge whoremongers and adulterers. Give me 1 Corinthians 6 and 9. You write this word up. Give me 1 Corinthians 6 and 9. This is something else they don't teach in the church, and I want everybody to know this. 1 Corinthians chapter 6 and verse 9. Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God? So it says, sis, know ye not, don't you know that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God? This is the New Testament. This is 1 Corinthians. Okay, this is Paul's writing. This is after Christ. So for anybody who thinks that everybody's just going to make it to heaven and just be one big party, you can do whatever you want and still make it, walk through those gates. What did he say? Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God. So now he's going to tell you some forms of unrighteous. Be not deceived. Don't let anybody fool you. Don't let any pastor tell you that you can do whatever you want. Come as you are, stay as you are. That God uh, loves the sin but hates the sinner. That's not true. God hates sinners as well. That's written in the Bible. Read. Neither fornicators. So God said fornicators. That's an unrighteous person who will not make it to the kingdom of God. Read. Nor idolaters. Idolaters. If you're worshiping other gods, if you're involved in Islam, if you're in Buddhism, if you're uh, in worshiping white Jesus, if you worship money, if you worship cars, if you worship your woman, it says idolaters shall not make it to the kingdom of God. Read. No adulterers. Adulterers. You cheating on your husband, cheating on your wife, will not make it to the kingdom of God. Read. No effeminate. No effeminate. 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 That's one step before you get to what? Homosexuality. Effeminate. Men that act like women will not make it to the kingdom of God. Right. That's what God said. I didn't say this. I didn't make it up. Read. No abusers of themselves with mankind. Now we take it a step further. Abusers of themselves with mankind. So how can one man abuse himself with another man? Homosexuality. Sodom, sodomy. What's known as sodomy. God said sodomites will not inherit the kingdom of God. That's what the Bible says. Read. Nor abusers of themselves with mankind. Nor thieves, nor thieves. If you're a thief and you don't change your ways, you cannot make it to the kingdom of God. Read. Nor covetous, covetous. You always want things that don't belong to you or belong to other people. You cannot make it to the kingdom of God with that spirit. Read. Nor drunkards, nor drunkards. If you are an alcoholic, if you are a drug addict, and you do not change, you cannot enter the kingdom of God. You have to change. Read. No revilers. Revilers. You just love wild sexual parties. You like going to these clubs. Half uh, or sex is half naked going to these clubs. Dealing with this man, dealing with that man. And men like quiet doing the same. You cannot make it to the kingdom of God. But guess what? The kingdom of heaven ain't that type of party. Read. No extortioners. Extortioners. You're extorting people like these pastors are in the church. Telling you that you cannot get to heaven unless you put 10% in that plate. That's not in the Bible. That's not what the Bible says ties are. Ties, my sister, ties were never money. Bring it up. According to the Bible, I can show you ties in the Bible, and guess what? It was never money. The Bible never told you to give 10% to your pastor. That's yes, not it in there. Yes, it no, it did not. Yes, show me the scripture. Yes, 10%, 10%. Show me the scripture. And I'll show me the scripture, and I'll give you 10% of what I got in my pocket right now. If you can show me the scripture. Who, who doesn't want free money? Who does not want free money? It's not in there. 
It is not in there. It does not exist. Ties, guess what ties were? So your pastor's lying to you. When you go back, if you happen to go back in that lying church, tell your pastor to show you where it says that ties is money, that you must give money in the Bible. You come back and show me what it says. Because it's not in there. I promise you, I wouldn't lie to you. Read. Lord, extortioners shall inherit the kingdom of God. None of these people shall inherit the kingdom of God. That's what the Bible says. Read. And such were some of you. See that? And such were some of you. I mean, such were some of us. I Meaning a lot of us used to be doing these things. We used to be this way. Read. But you're washed. But you're sanctified. But you're justified in the name of the Lord Jesus. So now, when you learn Jesus of Christ, the so-called black messiah, you have to change. That's what was Christ's ministry was, was change. I mean, we don't stay the same. We got to change. All right? One second, bro. I, I got you. Let me um, just finish answering this question. Like so Christ's ministry was changed. You understand that, sis? It was not come as you are, stay as you are. Christ's ministry was changed. Daniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.